Hello everyone, this is Caroline from White Wolf Mystic. I'm gonna go ahead and do the August reading for air signs and what you can expect for the coming month. So I'm going to start with Libra. <clears throat> and I will post in the comments below the timestamps if you wanna go ahead and jump to your zodiac sign, okay? So theme for Libra in August. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Let me get an additional card to see what energy we're working with sleep okay um so that's interesting we've got some very contrary energies one which is about rest and the other one which is about thinking on our feet so let me pull some tarot cards just to get some clarity about that Okay, <clears throat> so we have obstacles and, or sorry, <laughs> foundations and achievements. This is four of wands. We have four, another four, 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 um, discontent and boredom. And then we have obstacles and challenges. So what I am getting from this is like, now is not a time to rest. <laughs> now is a time to be active and to think on our feet. So thinking about <clears throat> our foundations, this is, you know, wands are very much about spirit passion hobbies your higher calling your soul's growth so <clears throat> these foundations could have to do with your family but it could also have to do with your career your hobbies your bucket list your life goals so thinking about what you are creating and again i'm getting here like don't rest on your laurels because even when you are taking a passive stance you are still creating through inactivity versus activity okay and focusing on the areas of our life where we're not feeling satisfied where maybe there's some discontentment and doing a little bit of analysis to think about what you need to feel more fulfilled in those areas <clears throat> but then also being mindful that we are in a space of gratitude so you can still feel discontent towards a certain area of your life because you know you want to evolve and change while still expressing gratitude for everything that you have because we always want to act from a place of gratitude that is the most powerful creative place in the present moment gratitude really helps us to manifest more right because it's kind of like if you are thankful for everything the universe gives you then the universe is like okay i'll give you some more so acting from a place of gratitude but also thinking about what you want to manifest and what areas of your life you're not totally satisfied with and then I do see that we have some possible obstacles and challenges coming up for you Libras in August. So let me pull a few more cards here. Okay, so I have understanding this is Knight of Cups and we also have Temperance, so integration. So what I'm getting here is this is really about like doing an analysis of our life in terms of where we are feeling dissatisfied or where we are perhaps acting out of disharmony in our relationships, where we are creating conflict that there doesn't need to be. Um, and then, you know, where are there areas where we need to resolve conflict? So not avoiding conflict, Libras, because I know you guys love balance and harmony, but sometimes the path to harmony is resolving conflict and dealing with confrontation and being compassionate and understanding towards your loved ones and hearing them out um, so integration here i'm getting this with like <clears throat> the discontentment but the foundations and achievements because these are also kind of two contrasting cards and fours fours are important because fours are about they are about building and expanding our life our hobbies whatever it is that you want to be building and expanding so integrating the areas where we are feeling joyful and then the areas where we're feeling discontentment and then thinking about what changes you want to make and then the areas where you're perhaps not expressing gratitude for what you should be expressing gratitude for balancing yin and yang so feminine and masculine active with passive okay and then let me pull i want to just pull one more tarot card because i feel like this is still kind of vague Okay. Partnerships and alliances. So I am seeing that August has a lot to do with our relationships, the areas where we're feeling 
fulfilled the areas where we're not feeling fulfilled and then strengthening our relationships with others okay and this can be <clears throat> co-workers romantic relationships our family members but doing what we need to do to act from a place of compassion and understanding and again sorry my band-aid is like in the way so sexy um this could have to do with you know bringing harmony into our relationships but sometimes it means recognizing the disharmony and being willing to face the conflict in order to strengthen our relationships okay so integration <clears throat> integrating harmony with disharmony and recognizing that they're two sides of the same coin and they're both necessary at times okay and that is the obstacle that i'm picking up here is just you know the tendency to want to just create harmony so everything can be peaceful but sometimes you have to like think on your feet sometimes you have to face those conflicts and resolve those conflicts in order to achieve harmony okay so this is very much about our relationships and the areas where there's friction or tension that <clears throat> needs to be resolved and then the areas where you're perhaps not fully content in in your life and thinking about what you want to bring forth but still acting from a place of gratitude okay <clears throat> so let me pull a moonology card to wrap up Libra for August. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, so if you guys have been experiencing some disharmony or friction in your relationships, I know a lot of us had a really tough time in July. July was a very challenging month for many people, very triggering. So recognizing that the cycle is coming to an end. Okay, you are exiting this phase, but part of helping to bring this phase to a close is resolving some of those conflicts and, and restoring harmony to your relationships and to your life by looking at where you're feeling discontentment, expressing gratitude for what you have, and then being willing to face conflict in order to create harmony, okay? In order to resolve conflict and create harmony. So that is Libra. Let me move on to <clears throat> Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. How you guys doing? Let's see what we've got going on for you for August. I knew it, my intuition, like I knew it the second I picked up this deck. Vulture spirit. Okay, so this is actually one of my favorite spirit animals. I know it freaks a lot of people out because, you know, any of the so-called negative animals, animal spirits, but vulture is one of my all-time favorite animals. Why? Because they are the cleaners of the earth. If it weren't for the cleaners, if it weren't for animals like vultures, if it weren't for algae, if it weren't for fungi, if it weren't for catfish and bottom feeders, our planet would be piled sky high with junk and debris and death and rotting stuff. So I know that's really like super graphic, but that's why these animals are so important because they help to assess, you know, metaphorically speaking, they assess what is no longer serving us, what is toxic and unhealthy for us, and they clean it up so that we can be healthy and vibrant. So this is such an important animal and I think it's a great animal for Aquarius because you guys are the sign of the future you always want to be pushing society forward and part of how you do that is you're great at identifying problems and things that are no longer working in order to reinvent and create new systems and invent new technologies so that is your gift so I think vulture is such a great spirit animal we have <clears throat> grateful okay so for me what I am getting from this is is if you guys have gone through some challenges in the month of July as we all have because it was rough it was a very triggering month some of the things that you may have lost you know things that may not have met your expectations recognize that nothing is wasted every single experience has something very powerful to teach us if you do the work if you take the time to reflect on what happened because those are really where our most powerful lessons are, right? If everything is all sunshine and rainbows all the time, we don't really learn, we don't really grow that way. We grow through adversity and through challenges. So being grateful for some of the painful experiences you may have gone through recently, recognizing that they will make you stronger than anything else will, okay? Nicole Sintero. Woo, oh, I love it. Yes. Okay. So we have fulfillment of wishes. This is nine of cups. This is, um, <clears throat> to me, this is that whatever challenging experiences you've gone through, it is going to help you get closer to your dreams. We have the world card, the universe. This is a card of self mastery of having climbed to the top of a mountain, having overcome obstacles. And then we have base chakra. So this is root chakra. This is what we need to feel grounded and stable. So what I am getting from this also is that we may have 
let go of some things that were ungrounding us, that were keeping us in feelings of insecurity and instability. So sometimes what leaves us, what we have to let go of are things that really are holding us back from our highest potential. Okay, so again, expressing gratitude for these things that are showing up and, and showing you what's holding you back so that you can focus on the things that are going to ground you in order to achieve self-mastery and success. Okay, so let me pull a few Zen tarot cards to go with this. Yeah, what did I just say? Letting go. And then this is the sun card innocence so childlike innocence letting go and detaching from what is no longer serving us recognizing that it's holding you back from the fulfillment of your wishes okay because the sun card is such a great card and it's actually the ruler of august because we're in leo season and sun rules leo so the sun is a great card here it's all about you know childlike innocence it's about hope and optimism and the eternal youth so to speak eternal optimism right so sometimes in order to manifest this innocence we have to constantly be cleaning up letting go of the things that really aren't serving us that are toxic that are old old and outdated systems so that we can move forward into a brighter future so what i am seeing here is just being grateful you know being grateful aquarius as hard as it can be sometimes for those lessons because they're making you so much stronger and smarter and wiser and will ultimately lead you to more success okay so let me close out with the moonology card okay take time to breathe out so you know whatever you've gone through recently it may have been a little jarring it may have been exhausting or overwhelming to say the least so taking time for reflection taking time to journal or to even just spend time reviewing what we've let go of, what we've experienced that was perhaps, you know, negative to use that term and just doing some inventory because you can't really learn the lessons if you don't take the time to review them, right? If you just skip over pain and suffering and move on to the next thing, you think that you're leaving them behind, but you're actually repressing them and then they stay buried and then they will resurface again. So in order to make sure they don't resurface and then sabotage your happiness and your relationships, you have to take time to really review and reflect on these lessons okay and that's where the key to strength and wisdom comes from is in reflection okay so that is aquarius last but not least my beloved gemini's i love you guys my crew my posse <laughs> all right what do we have going on for gemini i'm a gemini in case you're wondering why i said that oh my god i love it koala spirit Spirit has a plan. All right. What is this about? What plan does Spirit have? What is this pertaining to? Replenish. Self-care, self-love, nourishment, dream work, perhaps. Okay. Let me pull some tarot. Surrender. Mm, the sun and the moon. Okay, we have the sun, light. We have the moon, the shadow. And we have the tower. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, because Geminis are the sign of duality, right? The twins, duality, sun and moon, light and dark. I'm getting that this is something that we are very much working with in the energy of August, finding a way to merge and transmute light and darkness. One of the great things I love about Geminis is we don't view anything as inherently good or bad. We can see both points of view. We can see how everything is useful given a certain context, right? We are really good at bringing varied pieces of information or various themes from all over the world, so to speak, and finding the common theme, right? Synergy is one of Gemini's greatest gifts. So what I am seeing here in August is really finding a way to blend optimism and joy and happiness with shadow work. And this is the essence of yin and yang, light and dark. You know, this is the essence of 
the universe, you know, the universe is made up of shadow, of dark matter, of darkness, and it is out of the darkness that the light comes forth and that planets and life on planets are created, right? So they're both necessary. Darkness is a powerful creative force. Light is a powerful healing force, a force of love. So finding a way to synergize these two themes in your life as well as the life of others and the work that you do in august it's very important it's one thing that you guys are great at and it's something that our planet needs because there's way too much emphasis on you know positive affirmations all the time be happy all the time focus on joy and like neglecting that sometimes doing your shadow work and confronting the darkness and the negativity within us is the path to finding more light and more love okay so there may be some challenges ahead for Gemini in August in order to bring light to both of these. So let me see what kind of a tower are we talking about here? What kind of tower moment? What lessons does spirit have for us in August? Okay. We have the source, which is also like the sun. And then we have three of swords, isolation. So this is heartbreak, this is suffering, this is grief, this is disappointment, disappointed expectations. So we may have some bumps and challenges in August, but it's all for a reason. Spirit has a plan because in this sense, because we are the learners and teachers of the Zodiac, we can really help people through going through our own experiences of heartbreak and disappointment. We can show people how to make sense of the suffering and the pain and how to continue to be optimistic and how to see the greater purpose and how it can lead to greater optimism and love down the line. So that is what I'm picking up here. So, you know, this could be, this could be mental anxiety. It doesn't have to be heartbreak, but <clears throat> let me pull another card. Patience. Patience, okay, and I like that we have the lunar cycle here, and this is another great example of the lightness and the shadow because we have, you know, during the new moon, it's nothing but darkness, but during the darkness is when, you know, new moons are all about creating and manifesting pure potential. So even though it's the dark of the moon, you can't see the light of the moon, it's when there's the most creative potential. And then you have moving into the full moon, which is about letting go and releasing. And what I love about this is the full moon is the brightest moon, right? It's the moon with the most light, so to speak, but the full moon is all about letting go. And so it's the brightest moon so that it can help illuminate what needs to be released and let go of. So every phase has its own purpose. Lightness and dark has its own purpose. And this is something that Geminis are so great at discerning because you can make sense of both and the pros and cons of both. So that is what spirit's plan is for you Gemini's whatever we're going through <clears throat> over the next month whatever challenges it is so that we can learn from it and then teach and share with others how we have made sense of it and how we have found meaning so this is about healing doing your own healing so that you can help heal the world okay it's very very important very important for Gemini's you are great teachers and communicators and you really help to illuminate concepts that other people just wouldn't know how to make sense of or wouldn't even know where to begin let's finalize this okay adjustments are required so let me get another card just to clarify that okay inner strength this is the strength card. Adjustments are required. So finding your inner strength, finding a way to make sense of the lightness and the darkness within you and recognizing that you derive your inner strength from taking control over every situation, right? We may not always be able to control what happens to us, but what we can always control are our perspectives and how we use what happens to us to reclaim our power and to become stronger, okay? So that is what we are learning this month, Gemini's. We are learning this through probably some challenges, but it's so that we can heal ourselves and then be able to heal and teach others, okay? So this is going to be a very much a month of strengthening, sharing, teaching, because spirit has a plan for us and it's part of what we have to contribute to society, okay? So time for some spirit work, August. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.